Five ways to prevent pickleball elbow and wrist strain. Pickleball's swift rise in popularity as a dynamic and enjoyable sport has drawn participants from various age groups and proficiency levels. However, alongside its increasing appeal, pickleball has also underscored the risks of injuries linked to its play. Getting a paddle with the right weight, grip, and length is perhaps the best thing you can do for tennis elbow and wrist strain. But there are several other things you can do to keep pickleball elbow and wrist discomfort away. Like stretching. There are many great stretching exercises for your shoulder, arm, elbow, and wrists. Before playing, and afterwards too, getting those muscles stretched will ease the wear and tear, which is essential when using heavy paddles during play. Just add them to your pre-match routine. A couple of minutes of stretching can go a long way to preventing many injuries. Next, we have proper technique and mechanics. Adopting correct playing techniques, such as maintaining a relaxed grip and engaging the entire body when generating power for shots, is crucial for preventing wrist and elbow injuries. If you use unorthodox strokes, your mechanics may be contributing to your tennis elbow and wrist discomfort. A poor backhand swing is especially tough on elbows and wrists. You can also take a lesson and have the instructor check your technique. It is possible a minor adjustment to how you hit the ball will make a gigantic difference in preventing pickleball elbow and wrist strain. In addition, if you find yourself hitting lots of backhands, see if your court position is correct. Good players will hit to the competition backhand as it generally is the weaker shot, but whenever possible, hit forehands. Arm strengthening and flexibility exercises. Regular arm strengthening and flexibility exercises can significantly lower the risk of overuse injuries in pickleball. Strengthening the forearm muscles and improving overall arm and body fitness can help players avoid wrist and elbow injuries while enhancing their performance on the court. You can also buy a wrist or elbow brace. Your doctor may recommend an elbow brace for your tennis elbow and wrist discomfort. A tennis elbow brace works as a counter lever to the stress caused by playing. If you wear your tennis elbow brace the way it is intended, the support may help prevent or manage pain. But a tennis elbow brace is not for everyone, and it really is just dealing with those symptoms again. Lastly, we have the importance of rest and recovery. Taking breaks during play and allowing the affected areas to rest and recover is essential for preventing and healing wrist, elbow, and shoulder injuries. Players should listen to their bodies and avoid overexertion, giving themselves adequate time to recover between games and practice sessions. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now to watch more videos and clips from this channel.